in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> what are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. Is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Looking up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We're looking up to the pet Come here, bud. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. I want to rob it again. First I save Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. I'm such an idiot, Kate. I could have shown this to the principal and busted David. I could have. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention her. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. 
nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Hello, you come distant. Blackwell might as well. Sh it's amazing how happy yeah, Kate. Have to, have to your volume as well. There we go. I'm just You're compared to today. Of, um, she was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out what. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? So much hypocrite. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just, like, shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like, she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Kate probably won't want to look at these posters when she comes back. Ugh, Kate Max want to shower, but no time. Must meet Chloe. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Ugh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her, like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. 
So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools. Nothing here. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Hello, little friend. Look at the lens and say no. Stop texting me. I'm kind of busy. I I'm taking photos. Very important business. Gotcha. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. The most magical insects burn bright. Principal Wells, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. My ass down. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you, you saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Hmm. What a day. Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off, entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. Oh, great. 
He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Max the Ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Yeah. More like a scary punk asshole. <laughs> hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day no, trying no, to keep my okay. friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. And notice that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hate it. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen. You've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. 
Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors than something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Nothing here. Dead end. Nothing here. Boring. Crap. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office.
Ooh, sugar. items to go. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. You're halfway home, Max. formal and smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. Never said they were great, troll. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Only one more ingredient left. This is like a scene in a horror film. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so 
fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? She can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. <laughs> you are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. Look at this pile. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Let's nab the like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. I 
think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. You're not so tacky up close. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan... Prescott? That's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> it's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. You really wanna take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again, I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me.
That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. I hope the otters will survive. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Where does that other sock go? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels and ta flippers in a swimming pool. Are they training Navy frogmen here? A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? The wit, it burns. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. And these are cool shots. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. In case I run out of air, I know where to- There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Now I have the power over light and death. So the big plan is win. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh, 
Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they hello hello anybody there Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. 
I heard something over here. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! Shit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is free. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Ugh.
Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Supplies are endless in the evening. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance, unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problemo. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but... I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. 
Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Now that's what I call pancakes. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? <laughs> it's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nothing to see here. Magic 8-Ball says no.
Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Nothing in it. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Oh, shit, Paul. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good pa Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Worst? No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Magic 8 ball. No way, Max. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. That could be enough.